Okay, my God team, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning into today's video. Um, we're going to go ahead and talk about Bitcoin. We're going to talk about the traditional markets. We're going to talk about the FOMOC minute meeting uh, announcement today as well. And we'll get straight into the video. Um, I am a bit tired. I've been up all night. It's 5 a.m. still here. I haven't fallen asleep yet. So I'm a little bit, a little bit slow, a little bit tired. So just bear with me a little bit. Um, we do have our Telegram channel. Pin comment down below. Go ahead and click the link. Get access to all our updates, charts whole range of more information I'll go ahead and put it on the screen over here um, so you can see what we're talking about during the day all our videos on a whole range of more stuff let's go ahead and talk about the FOMOC minute meeting first and obviously the FOMOC minute meeting came out about an hour ago and we have the document and you can get access to this document in our telegram channel scroll down to the most recent post you'll be able to get access to that document over there. you can just go ahead and download it for yourself if you want to read it yourself um, it's all here but the most important part I went through and read this already the most important part was this bit over here and this was a little survey we did and it was basically talking about what they can expect uh, the basis point hike to be in September and they ended up coming to a conclusion that most people expect a 50 basis point hike uh, in September to follow uh, which obviously is a bullish thing the markets react positively to this uh, we've seen a good run-up for the S&P 500, for the NASDAQ, the DXY has come down a little bit. And of course, Bitcoin has seen a small little bump after what we would call a pretty awful uh, last 24 hours in the market. We had a significant pullback, a lot of anticipation for what's going to happen. A lot of people, you know, getting scared and waiting for the information to come out. But now we've got a little bit of all clear, a little bit all clear in the market, uh, a little bit of breathing room and potential relief to come in the market now. Obviously, we're gonna take a look at Bitcoin now. Uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So we've got a few things going on for Bitcoin over here. Now, there's a few different charts we can go ahead and chart out on Bitcoin. There's a whole range of different ways you can go ahead and draw these uptrending lines. The uptrending line that I've come to a conclusion for will be the current uptrending line we're seeing now. And the reason I like this one is because it retests this particular zone where we have our horizontal level of 23,300. Um, which basically acted as a major support bouncing point uh, for where we've been retesting in the last five or six hours. We've been sitting around this level for the last five or six hours, finding support in this level, numerous amounts of retests and resistance at this level. If you remember back to uh, the start of August, we challenged this particular level a lot at the start of August. You know, we came up, we rejected from this level many, many times before we actually had that breakthrough, finally breaking back down. And this was a major area of horizontal resistance that we were, you know, acting as resistance uh, for, you know, we're talking like a week. So that was a pretty in important level. We've come back down, we've retested that level, and that's why I've kind of put that support line there. Looking at Bitcoin, we've got a few options over here. Number one is that we do push upwards again, and we talked a little bit about our wedge already. Obviously, we do have a pretty bearish structure over here, which is our rising wedge and our macro uh, well, horizontal channel over here, which is our rising channel uh, over here with his upper trend line and lower trend line. And we do expect a retracement down into this zone over here if we do lose this upward trending line. I would say the loss of 23,300 would be the trigger for that move downwards. We talked a little bit about that in our Telegram channel already. Losing 23,300 on the four hourly chart in my opinion, would be the trigger downwards to about 22,000. Obviously, we do have support at 22,800. Okay, that's the lower end of our major support zone. We've seen we've found support multiple times over here. Um, and then we would be aiming for this level here. And this level here is, you know, this major support resistance zone, uh, this horizontal zone, uh, which we did, you know, challenge it quite a fair bit at the start uh, of uh, June, uh, sorry, June, July area. So coming from over here, guys, taking a look at the chart again, there's a few things that's going on. And obviously the short term is still looking pretty bleak, you know. Um, there's a lot of bearish stuff. And we go to a daily, I will show you what I mean. If we go ahead and bring up the RSI, you know, although we've had this positive news and this, you know, what you would consider more bullish news, the market it still isn't looking phenomenal, guys. It's still looking pretty bleak. And um, obviously with all these bearish, stru bearish structures going on, you know, we're going to have this, you know, this selling pressure uh, start to increase and our, our momentum starting to fade. So we go ahead and bring up the RSI. We can see we have actually broken down from this RSI support line, this trend line that we've been, you know, using as a bit of a, a bit of a landing pad almost throughout this entire uptrend, uh, kind of catching ourselves on these dips and propelling ourselves back up every single time we bounce on this level. Uh, we have officially lost that, which could trigger 
a bit of a collapse in the market here, but obviously we would need to lose that 23,300 level first for it actually to trigger. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the traditional markets. So one thing a lot of people have been talking about in the last few days is the fact that the S&P 500 is at a major point of resistance. And they would be right in saying that. It is at a major point of resistance. And so is Bitcoin. So is Bitcoin. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, um, in general of altcoins, uh, the S&P 500 now, the NASDAQ, they're at major points of resistance. And it could be a major rejection coming our way soon if this does break down. Obviously, um, they are not perfectly correlated, but there is a degree of correlation between stocks and cryptocurrency, about a 0.7 degree correlation. Uh, so we do see stocks drop down. I feel, I feel like they will front run crypto here. Uh, they're kind of moving the cryptocurrency market a lot of here. Crypto is actually quite weak right now. Um, and I feel like if the stocks do drop even a little bit, crypto is going to follow that and drop a significant amount uh, more in comparison to stocks. So guys, on the short term, just keep an eye out for these levels. Uh, I just wanted to do a little update today. I didn't really want to go into too much detail. Um, I'm quite tired. I'll do another video tomorrow. Um, but keep an eye on these levels. Obviously, 23,300 is that major support zone. Uh, losing that on a four hour will trigger another another drop down, unfortunately, uh, heading down to about 22,800. And you know, obviously, there's a major support zone over here. Uh, losing that support zone over here, we'll be heading down to the bottom of the wedge, which is about 20,000. And if you watched our video from earlier today, I think, um, we talked about the potential retest of our nine-year support line. If we go back to this chart over here, you can see the nine-year support line is sitting, if we go directly down, around nineteen dollars to $20,000. Um, and obviously, we can't just go directly down to be some kind of staircase laddering effect. Bring us to about 20100 which lines up pretty well, uh, if we go back to this chart, with this uptrending support line over here. This is around 21000 as well. So that's a possibility, a retest of that nine-year support line. Um, is definitely something we can look for if we see the traditional markets reject, if we see Bitcoin dominance uh, keep falling, we see the total cryptocurrency market cap fall, um, we could definitely see that play out. Anyway, guys, that is it for me today. I'm going to keep it nice and short and sharp. If you've got any questions, of course, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, join the Telegram channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, guys, we're going to be taking a quick look at BitGet, and now BitGet is where I personally trade. I highly recommend signing up to BitGet with the link down below. BitGet is probably the best exchange out there if you are a trader. It has a variety of features and the best things about BitGet are a few things. Number one, it's non-KYC. Well, KYC is completely optional on BitGet. Now, there's a whole variety of exchanges out there nowadays that have gone completely centralized, sharing your personal trading information and information of decentralized uh, governments and different governing bodies. BitGet allows that option to be left to the individual, to the user of the exchange. You can decide to non-KYC, you can decide to KYC, it's completely your choice. Another really beneficial thing about BitGet and the biggest reasons why I, I'm sitting here actually recommending BitGet to all my, all my followers is that it has 0.02% trading fees. All right? This is significantly lower than any other cryptocurrency trading exchange out there. FTX, Binance, can name a bunch more, KuCoin. It is significantly lower, by 500% lower than the lowest exchange out there, Binance. Um, another big thing, guys, is there's no global restrictions on who can use BitGet. Anyone from anywhere can sign up to BitGet and get access to the entire exchange of all the tools, whether it be Futures or Spot. No matter which country you're in, you can use Futures and Spot. If you're in America, for say, and you want to get access to more Spot trading pairs, such as Binance Global, and you can't sign up, well, guess what? They've got 250 different spot trading pairs here on BitGet to get access to, and you can get access to all of these. If you're in Australia and you want to access the futures market and you can't trade futures, you can do it here on BitGet. You can get access to the future market and start trading with leverage. And finally, guys, if you do want to sign up to BitGet, go ahead, click that link down below to sign up to BitGet and you'll get access to the reward center over here, which enables up to $4,000 in rewards by completing five tasks. All right, guys, we'll get back to the video. Thanks for listening to that. Okay, guys, I want to take a quick moment to introduce the Become a Trader course at the end of this video. This course was designed by myself and Wolves of Crypto. We put together a whole variety of knowledge to create the most cohesive, understandable, and beneficial trading course there is on the market. If you're interested in learning how to become a trader, if you're interested in learning how to use technical analysis, if you're interested in learning how to apply market analysis to different cryptocurrencies, this is a course for you. We teach you everything from the fundamentals, the basics about what cryptocurrency is, how to trade cryptocurrency, 
mastering the craft of cryptocurrency, diving into a whole range of technical indicators, market structures, and teaching you how to utilize these when finding trades and applying risk management strategies to become more profitable over time. We even dive into market psychology, human psychology, and provide a variety of different videos and educational content, including courses and quizzes to assist your learning along the way. If this is something you're interested in, guys, go ahead and contact us down below at the Crypto Academy courses at gmail.com. We'll send you an email back with all the course information, the structure, the payment details, and everything else you need to know. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and we'll catch you in the next one.